now time for us to get straight to our, our to, to chat with our guests for today um they, they have a very special information to share with you uh it's something i'm excited about i'll tell you why i'm, I'm excited about it uh and then you definitely will enjoy this conversation that we're about to have you know you love the bible you love all of those type of stuff you love jesus basically then what we're about to share with you in the next 10 minutes plus would definitely excite you but first let me say welcome to my friends all the way from snapchat productions uh snapshots, snapshots my apologies please <laughs> snapshots uh, productions please let's Say welcome to the producer. First of all, we have a Florence Warikam. Did I get that correctly? Yes, you did. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. And of course, hey. we have um, on also playing one of the leads, uh, playing the lead actually in what we're about to tell you about. We have uh, Toby Loba Duro Jaye. Yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome thank to the Praise thank World. You, thank you. To thank the Praise you. World Radio Studio. So great to have you guys. Thank you. All right. So, do we just delve straight into Onyezi already? Well, oh, we, we should can, just or okay. We can start from okay. Anyway. Let's 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 uh, <laughs> take it back a little bit to snapshot itself. Great. Um, a lot of churches have you know like they have music department and all those departments, then they have the drama department. Mm-hmm. Um, and that over the years has been a thing. Some people go the extra mile to really make it a big deal, almost like a movie thing. Um, I want you to shed some more light as to what Snapshots Productions is really about and its relationship with or to the Covenant Nation. Okay, thank you very much. And it's my pleasure to, it's our pleasure to be on this show. Um, okay, Snapshots is the theater arm of the Covenant Nation. The Covenant Nation is pastor, the senior pastor is Pastor Paul Joey Um It's been existing for about 14 years now. Um, what we are charged with our vision is to preach the gospel through you know on various on, on all social media channels preach the gospel to the world and we do that uh, you know using different forms of theater whether it's drama dance um, recently we even moved to animation so basically mm-hmm. on all media channels any way to tell a story any way that is available to tell a story we are actually the right um, we are up for it you know so that's what Snapshot is about so it's way beyond just on stage like stage play definitely uh, type, type of stuff all right it's definitely way beyond um stage play. we started with stage plays but we then moved on to doing producing doing short films right. and all of that we have a couple of those a, co- a lot actually that we have released a, sh- a lot of our um, short films and then we moved to animation and then you know okay yeah <laughs> yeah Dance dramas and all a, li- dances, a little bit of everything yes. like that. Yeah. Okay, so before we get into Onyeze, mm-hmm. um, bring us up to speed with... No, first of all, where did the name Snapshots come from? Well, um, from the camera, obviously, Snapshots. And we were existing long before Snapchat. So, I, I don't know, when everybody started calling us Snapchat, we're like, hello, it's Snapshots. <laughs> snapshots. So, basically, it's shots that are, you know, shots that speak. Right. That's where the whole idea of snapshots, like shots that speak, shots that send a message. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So All right. It. So bring us up to speed now because um, on years is not where the journey started from. Um, I remember, I, I do remember snapshots for as long as eight years. Yes. I actually remember Praise World. I think we've done yeah. an interview with you guys before. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> we, we once had, um, um, and, and that's before she became Mrs. Uh, Pastor Mrs. Oyomadi, <laughs> uh, we had her here uh, uh, some year some years ago. Mm. But but no, it's been a long way coming. Is the point I'm trying to make? Yeah. Um, can you bring us up to speed as to some of the major projects that Snapshots has done leading up to Onyeze? Oh my gosh, we've done like so. I hope I'll be able to remember <laughs> all of them. But you, standard, what we always have is we always have Easter and December productions. Right. Um, yeah. So every Easter and December productions, and we we usually go all out. You know, we. Be, 
it's not just we don't we we have we have um we have a mantra that we go by you know just because it's church doesn't mean i mean we mm-hmm. are we church, just leave church out of it we our mantra is excellence and our, our mantra is we push we go beyond as far as our imagination can reach us and thank god we have a pastor that you know really is very supportive so we start we, we've done a couple we've done daniel daniel was actually it was yeah, I remember you remember that. daniel yes. right so daniel was actually um, um a big one we held it in we've actually staged in many places we've staged that um yeah we staged that um the muson center both shell and the um the shell hall and then the ajib hall and then we've gone to um we've gone to oau we've at the amphitheater at oau we've also taken it there uh, so we've taught, we've taught a bit, we've taught in different churches, and then yeah, our main productions are. Um, um, so last year we had, um, we've done whispers to M. That was mm-hmm. we did that um, the two years before now, and then we also had before Onyeze we there was Nkwado. Nkwado is the Igbo depiction of one of our plays, the rehearsal. Um, yeah, so that you know we've done clogs. Nigeria 2020 is a futuristic um, production. Yes, I remember that one. Yes, that you know that talked about Nigeria and year 2060 where it had a yeah. female president yeah, and yeah. things were just you know forward thinking. It was yeah, not the Nigeria yeah. that you expected. So really try to go beyond like push our imagination and we have committed you know dedicated people volunteers that you know are always ready give themselves available their time their resources um their talents they put it out there so we're Hmm. really grateful for that interesting stuff (laughs) now we are about to delve into onyeze (laughs) onyeze all right so you guys uh because while we're talking about some of the things that you've done um you you mentioned, uh, I don't know what you call, call it again, but Igbo, mm-hmm. uh, the Igbo for uh, rehearsals. Or yes, exactly. And you guys are back with another Igbo stuff. Are you guys? Yes. Are you? Are you guys? You know, being ebotic about this thing, <laughs> or, <laughs> you know, because I've not heard any any Yoruba or Hausa um, theme. Uh, so far so 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 what's up with that or oh, you're just discovering that to have you <laughs> no, <laughs> no actually no yeah. all right tell me the tell rehearsal me. is actually a yoruba themed for ah. a long time snapshots has done a lot and lots of yoruba ah, themed. okay yeah so you know because you know christ is for everyone you know we are actually branching out so maybe that's the reason why um so you just just because of the names now so Nkwado means is 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 the literal Igbo translation for the rehearsal okay. in Igbo setting. Okay. So and then we now moved on to Onyeze, who is the name of the character. Onyeze means king, king yeah. um, a, a priestly person, person, person yeah, person, royalty, person, yeah. 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 Who that's who Jesus Christ is. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Okay, so, let me bring you guys up to speed. Uh, just mm-hmm. in case we're wondering, uh, what's all this Onyeze that Tola keeps saying? So on Monday. Um, Snapshots production will be premiering this uh, I call it a, a movie now or <laughs> it's a film a theater film, yeah yes. um, a, a film on on Monday and we talked about that earlier on during the show that Monday is a public holiday so yeah you get that and um, it's it's titled Onyeze so mm-hmm. when we say Onyeze we're basically talking about that particular film Yeah. so um, for me I am very passionate about Bible stories mm-hmm. I actually have a podcast uh, is on its fifth season right now yeah. where I basically tell Bible stories. I just recreate it. You guys can check it out and make movies out of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay. so I love when I hear Bible stories, especially when it's told in today's language. Mm-hmm. So, I know the story is some way related to the the story of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Now, from a producer's um, standpoint, I, I want to know what your your thoughts is about this. When you're you're telling a Bible story. Mm-hmm. What is the where where is the limits? How far is too far in trying to I wouldn't say alter but uh what you're trying to recreate the story to fit your audience? <laughs> well, um I wouldn't I wouldn't say that, that um 
you can never go too far. The first thing is that you have a basis. The basis is what the story, the, the Bible has told us. The Bible has told us the accounts of the events. Now, it's for left, it's left for you to now go to deep, reach into your imagination and then deep you know, you, you now create the background story. And this is what Onyeze has because many of us, even Christians, we've gotten so used to reading some of these Bible, mm-hmm. um, bi- you know, biblical stories and then we just imagine, okay, um, next verse means tomorrow or something. Or you, So what Onyeze does is that it gives a lot of perspective even to the reactions and then um, of, the, of this character. So it, it talks about, it shows their life, like how it was like, you know, it, it actually does do an investigation into and then helps us to see this Bible characters as you know our as day to day yes our yeah. day to day we can relate it can help it can help it helps us to relate with those Bible characters because it's not just some um you know foreign or straight up thing so we, we get to see them and then it's easier for you to actually follow and it's easier for you to actually apply some of these lessons to your life when you now realize that this pe- this mm. person was once you know like me this person yeah. is like me essentially a human being like me flesh and blood like me so that's what we try to do with um Onyeze. so it's basically the, the your imagination just you can just go okay oh uh, why was he just giving it some deep thoughts if um you see a particular action give it some deep thought. why what could have been going through this person's mind at that point in time so you just think about it as long as you stay true to the basics of the story then you can actually go yeah. as far as yeah. you know it helps to give a background it helps to make the viewer to you know be able to relate with the characters is not just I'm not just being preached at mm, now mm-hmm. I'm actually experiencing this journey along with the characters so that's it great stuff now let, let, let me let me let me talk to Mr. Drojai uh, who happens to be the lead I uh, played the lead role in this particular uh, film what because we don't have a full picture as to what the film is yet you know till Monday uh, but can you just give us just 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 tell us a little bit about your life uh, in this film, Onyeze. Okay. Um, good morning. It's a pleasure <laughs> to be here. <laughs> uh, my character basically is portraying Jesus. Ah, the person of Jesus. That's you, right? <laughs> yes, that's me. But 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 uh, it's not. It's obvious, and it's not that obvious because it is a stage play. This is someone that um, um, was raised in another how his parents had to move because I don't want to give everything away. Yeah. Uh, do you understand? But he was raised and he, he had to show the way. You know, teach, you know, be kind, help, spread the word of the most high mm-hmm. in that context. So basically that was what uh, that's what the character is about, the person of Jesus. Mm-hmm. And also also sheds light on um that's not for me though, but the play in general sheds light on the you know the bible will not necessarily tell you how peter's family was or how james family or what mm-hmm. he did it was just about yeah the, the context was about jesus so only is it that the stage play itself gives and you know creatively tells you what it felt like for these disciples around jesus more so like it more like opens up the story kind even of, to our, yes. to our wider perspective yes. oh interesting stuff so here's what we're gonna do because time is whoa <laughs> time is very fast spent all right so um i want you to tell those listening to the show uh those at home here in lagos uh mm-hmm. and abroad outside of lagos and abroad of abroad outside yes, of sir. nigeria uh tell us um how we can be a part of on monday Okay, so you can be a part of Onyeze by, first of all, there's a free registration going on. So you could register is bit.ly forward slash Onyeze. Onyeze is spelled O-N-Y-E-Z-E. So that's the spelling. Um, so you could, and then it's it's red carpet is going to be a red carpet it's actually a, going to be a very very fun event if you are not doing anything um, on the public holiday <laughs> why not if not like it's a free event you come with family you come with friends how are we and dressing what's the dress good man you can't because there's going to be a red carpet so as a enjoy yourself <laughs> you can you can you Black can dress tie, you can actually honestly because you're going to take pictures right. and it's 
actually going to be full of different activities. Right. Um, so yeah, it's it's actually a fun. You you would actually have because it's it's called a premiere. So it's you actually have that feel of you're going to a movie premiere. So yeah, yeah right. so you could dress up if you like, you know, and then come and take pictures. So um, it's the red carpet starts by 4 p.m. and that will be holding at the Covenant Place Igomo is right beside National Arts Theatre. And then the main show itself starts by 5. And apart from the news, it will be um, nice stuff like that we opening act is going to be a dance featuring the Snapshots dance, dance crew. And then of course there will be popcorn and if you want to just, you know, so it's, it's just a fun now thing. Right. You know, if you, yeah, and then you really have fun. The, 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 the movie is very, very interesting. Uh, I just got off from the um, post-production and I, I can't wait even though I've been involved in the process from what I've seen I mean it's going to be very you it's <laughs> worth your while um, so that's the advantage that we've been able to do with the with this particular production right. wow wow so I mean I mean where, where else would you rather be on Monday? Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> 4 p.m. The red carpet starts. 5 p.m. Mm-hmm. is the main. Why are you looking at me like that? I would better see you there on Monday. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much for uh, for being on the show with us yeah. today. Um, I think he wants to give information about how you can watch. You can actually watch yes, on uh, if, if you're not, um, a chance to be at um, the Covenant Place. You can watch at uh, on YouTube at uh, Snapshot the Snapshot's YouTube channel yes and you can watch it will be beamed live right so you can stream live if you are in Akure if you are in Canada if you are in Malaysia anywhere you are anywhere in the world you can you can yes we will appreciate if people follow us on our Instagram channels like snapshots underscore productions Twitter is snapshots at snapshots CCC and then we also have Facebook is Snapshots Productions NG. All right. So follow us, and then you get more information about Onyeze and the many more um, productions that we have in still store. to come. Thank you <laughs> so much. Thanks for coming through. Um, uh, hopefully, we will see you on Monday, yes. May the third. God bless you so thank very much. Thank you so much, much for yeah. allowing us to be on this platform. Thank we you. really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you so much. Bye. All right. So guys, um, Onyeze. All right. Somebody say Onyeze. All right. It's happening on. On Monday, May the 3rd, um, that's the best way to spend your public holiday if you can. Uh, just drive over to Igomu, uh, the Covenant Place, right there in Igomu, and, and make sure you have all the fun you possibly can. All yeah. right? That's how it is. is the praise the clock show 10 a.m west african time every monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday every weekday right here on praiseworldradio.com we have all the very best of news gist music and so much fun all right so make sure you catch us every weekday follow us on social media twitter instagram at praiseworld underscore and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel on youtube praiseworld tv oh it's time it's praise the clock i'll see you